Hi everybody, I'm Brandon Alter, and this is your new Ministero forecast for the week of May 23rd, 2019, and let me wish you a very happy Gemini season. So Gemini is our first air sign of the zodiac. If you remember last week, I said we're about to enter into heady, heady Gemini season. And what I meant by that is just that as the first air sign of the zodiac, we start to engage with our mental realm. So it can get a little psychological. And for that reason, the deck that we're gonna use for Gemini season is the Voyager Tarot, which I think is a pretty psychological deck. It was developed by this PhD, and it's all about collage. You'll notice the images are collages. And I thought that's perfect for Gemini season because Gemini is duality. It's exploring our edges, exploring masculine and feminine, public and private, all of these uh, continuums that we exist within, the edges, so to speak. And this card that I pulled for us, which in this deck is called Balance, but in other decks is known as the Justice card, connected to Libra, is about that, is about duality, but really finding our midpoint between those edges. And so I thought this was a really great invitation for the first week of Gemini season, because that's really what we're doing. We're starting to explore our own sense of justice in the world. So if you remember, Aries season, I kind of framed around the question, who am I? Aries is about discovering who you are. And then Taurus season was framed around the question, where am I, right? Taurus in connection to the earth and our environment. Gemini season is framed around the question, why am I? And it's a really important question. By connecting to your why, you give yourself the power that you need to fulfill your soul's purpose. And so this card is how we can start to connect to that why. Being an arbiter of divine justice is what this card invites us into. So what are you here to do? What wrongs are you here to right? What balance are you here to restore? That is the invitation around the justice card. And Gemini season is about connecting to that why. Why are you doing the things that you're doing? Why are you living in the city that you're living in? Why are you working the job that you're working? It's time to get intellectual. It's time to give into these greater ideas. And then, you know, we'll figure out how to integrate them. But don't worry about that right now. Like any good Gemini, you want to start to think big and start to explore great creative ideas, connections, um, and seeking your own personal truth. You know, last season I talked a lot about the Taurus Scorpio polarity. And so this season it's the Gemini Sagittarius polarity. So the axis of Gemini and Sagittarius is both about truth seeking. Remember Sagittarius is the truth seeker, but for Gemini, it's about personal truth. For Sagittarius, it's universal truth. So this season is not about everybody else. It's not about the collective. It's about you and what you are here to do. So some of the astrology that we're working with this week, first of all, moon is in Aquarius today. So that's double air, sun and Gemini, moon and Aquarius. These next couple of days are gonna be heady AF and probably quite social, which is great by exchanging ideas. Gemini is the house of communication. So there's probably gonna be a lot of talking this season and that's super cool. We can sometimes learn what our why is by hearing ourselves talk. Sometimes you're in conversation with a friend and you say to yourself, you say something and you're like, oh my God, I didn't even realize I believe that. Starting to understand the why. And then Mercury moves into Gemini the day after the sun moved into Gemini. So that happened like Monday, Tuesday of this week. So when you've got sun and Mercury together, and they're gonna be traveling together for this week, man, everybody thinks they're right. Because Mercury is how we communicate and sun is our ego. So everyone communicating from their ego, everyone thinking I'm right and I know what's right. And here's what I'm gonna say, everyone's right when we're speaking from our own personal truth. And I think this card is trying to give us the space to allow for everyone's truth to be valid. Even if you disagree with somebody, you can't disagree with their experience of their own life. So I think that's something we can start to move into and work with. And I also think that there's a really beautiful opportunity just to start to tap into those big ideas, those big creative projects, reconnecting to the why of who you are and how you are will help you remember what it is you're here to do. So remember, you are an arbiter of divine justice. You are here to right wrongs. You are here to leave this world better than you found it. And I think by reconnecting to your why and remembering that sense of justice, that sense of balance within yourself, you will be walking that road. Look forward to seeing you next week. And as always, thank you for tuning in.